Hello my fellow GOT nerds, it's me here Daniel again, back with my season 8 episode 4 review and oh my gosh moments because in this episode there were quite a few which I was surprised about. Um, mainly because I thought it was going to be more of another build up episode, even though we only have two more now. Um, but I really didn't expect much from this, um, this number 4, but it really it came through I think. Um, so first, because you're gonna be a top 10 with some side notes sprinkled in. Uh, so spoiler review, if you haven't seen the episode, please go watch it and come back and watch this video because I wanna know what you guys think. Um, and leave your comments down below because I love to hear what you guys have to say. So first one I would say would be, like everyone has been talking about, the coffee cup. Really guys, really, it's like you just, dirty like that that was just ridiculous you have so much money so many people watching it so many people reviewing it and going over it before it even comes out for us the public and it's been a what yeah year and a half and you couldn't even keep a coffee cup out of a frame <sighs> struggling I mean last episode had its weak points but it didn't have a coffee cup in it so I mean they at least did that right <laughs> I mean didn't walk by a donut bar, or already didn't run by a donut bar in the middle of the shot, so I think they at least got that part down. Um, number two, I'll just, I had to get past the coffee cup. It. I'm just gonna be thinking about it the whole time, but. Number two is Braun. Damn you, Braun. I mean, I, I liked you before more, and now you're just being a little a-hole and playing both sides. Don't like that, bro, come on. Get your shit together, choose a side, choose the right side. But, I mean, punching Tiri in the face, really, that's a punk move. Whatever. You do you, Ron. But I don't expect you to live at the end now. Um, number three would be not seeing Arya and Sansa uh, find out about John's heritage. And um, I just thought that was pretty ridiculous, like... Why would you, you think you only need six episodes when you have so much content that you really could go with? And you just need, thought you could skip that out. And um, I just didn't really get that. I mean, I would have loved to see their reactions, um, what Arya would say to John, kind of thing mostly. I mean, Sansa, I already know what she's going to say, but the Arya and John thing, them fi her finding out about his parentage would have been pretty cool. Um,. I did not like how they said goodbye to Ghost. If that's how he Ghost goes, I'm going to be so upset. It's like, they really never even had him in the past two seasons. And now they're just going to shoo him off like that into the north. Like, really? You could, and like with missing an ear. Like, you didn't even like hug him, kiss him, shake his fur, nothing. Just left. It's like, oh, I think... I would if I was that dog I'd probably hate you dude sorry I wouldn't treat my dog like that I love my dog I actually named my dog after Game of Thrones I'd be regretting that one now uh, but no it wasn't Ghost yeah. leave your comments down below and guess which my what my uh, dog's name is um, number five I did actually like this it was a good oh my gosh moment it would be the Brienne and Jamie thing would be a good uh, and then at the end it was like a battle and like oh they're together they're gone or he's gone it's like yeah he's saying he's bad to leave her but I don't think he actually thinks he's bad I think he's going down there to kill Cersei which pretty reasonable at this point after he heard what she did to their forces I think he's ready to just be done with her um I'm interested in what's gonna happen with Ari and the Hound. I like their back and forth in this one. The little note that I put down there that Ari said she doesn't expect to come back to Winterfell too. I'm not sure if she's expecting to die or just move on and maybe go back to like Bravos or go explore the world. I don't know. But I felt like a comment meant something. And I really I think it's gonna go further than I did than a lot of people passed over. So, number seven would be, um, I kind of like the dialogue between Tyrion and Kyber, and it was like a battle of wits, and Tyrion's 
was over him at the end. He's like, you know what? You're not anyone. You need to go kind of thing. And I thought that their banter was pretty good. And it was probably one of the highlights of the episode. Um, and But then it just led to the... Um, to the Masande thing, but I'll get back to that later. Um, the attack from uh, Euron, how did uh, Daenerys never see those 20 or so odd boats just chilling there, waiting to attack? Like, she's not doing any flyovers, like nothing. I mean, I mean, like high flyovers where you just know that they're there and they can't shoot freaking giant arrows, but whatever. I mean, just gonna. I mean, I get what they had to do. They had to eliminate one of the another dragon because it would have been too easy for Daenerys. But still, thought they could have done it better. I mean, a surprise attack from a slow ship doesn't really make sense. Um, and then, of course, the Rhaegal death. So that's number nine. Would be Rhaegal's death was pretty unceremonious and just not what I would have thought it would have been. Um, I mean, it is Viserion way better than him. Oh, my camera's falling. Boom. Sorry about that. Um, I gotta get that editing app because I could have edited that out, but you know what? I'll get there. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Rhaegal death wasn't a fan of. I mean, it could have they could have done it much better. But it was sad seeing him get shot three times. But, I mean, again, it's not a coffee cup. <laughs> uh, then lastly would be Masande's death. Sad, loved her as an actress, and her character was very interesting to me. I didn't like the Grey Worm stuff with their whole love, but um, I guess it, it had to be more emotional for him now. So I get that. But, um, I thought they really tried to rush to death when they, it could have been done different ways, like in the Battle of Winterfell or something like that. Um, but, unfortunately she's gone. People are going to be dying in the last two episodes, um, really quickly. I think it's going to be more crazy these last two episodes. i seen interviews with, um, Emily Clark, uh, she was saying that Episode 5 is crazy, um, so I feel like this next episode is really going to be one of the better ones, uh, and I just really hope they wrap it up well, because they've kind of been lipping to the finish line, it feels like now, unfortunately, but I really did expect it to be a little bit crazier, or, no, sorry, not, a little less crazier. Uh, I thought there were going to be more set up and dialogue in this one, which there was, but there was also more surprises than I thought. More oh my goshes. And boy, were there plenty. I mean, those aren't even the tip of the icebergs for me. Um, what I would have rated this episode overall, um, I mean, over this whole season, it was one of the better ones, I think. I mean, only choosing from four, I would say it's probably top two. But for the whole Game of Thrones series, it's probably one of the lesser ones I mean like I said they're limping to the finish line where they can be doing so they could have done so much more and now it's just kind of like they just want to end it and I feel like it's because they don't have George R. R. Martin's um, ending I mean because he hasn't sent uh, published it so it's not out for the public so I don't think D.B. Weiss or Daniel Benioff have the ending that they that um, George has in his mind, I think they're just trying to play their own ending, which is great. I mean, you gotta be creative, but that's why I think it's struggling too. I mean, they have they had great source material, but now it's more just they're trying to think up their own ideas, and it's just falling flat. But still, one of the better shows on all of any network. I mean, I tune in every Sunday to watch it because I know it's still going to be pretty good but it's not where it was before but maybe the last two episodes will surprise me, me and, and all of you guys I really hope it does because 
I I waited this long to really see a great ending, and I think they can deliver if they really just hopefully thought it through. So maybe all the setup was to get to a good ending. Uh, but yeah, I didn't the preview for the next one I didn't see much in I'm gonna dissect that later in the week but I mean it was just a lot of short clips that I don't think they were trying to tell too much of the story in so I think I'll get into that one a little bit more but um, really it's just a lot of hints but good ones I think um, so overall is 8 out of 10 for me um, pretty good episode not great but um, Let's see how the last two will go. I think it's going to be really, really good. So, hope you guys have a great Monday night and hope to see you soon. Uh, hit the subscribe button to get more videos and please leave a comment and a like and let me know what you guys thought about this episode, especially the coffee cup. Like, please, I need to know about that. Come on, guys. <laughs> let me know. Uh, so, see you guys later and have a good night.